tonight. That's fact. That is fact. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> and here's the proof. Look at our city view camera. You don't see much sunshine? Nah, not as much. We have some clouds rolling in. Current temperature 52 degrees. The dew point at 31, that's pretty low. That's why the humidity is only at 44%. And although we have the clouds out there, we're not generating rain. We need that rainfall and we're going to get it possibly tomorrow. Probably not enough to satisfy most. We have an east to southeast wind at 8 miles an hour. It feels like temperature is still the same as the temp. As we get closer to the evening hours, we may start to generate some sort of wind chill, but not much at all. Here's a look at first look clouds and radar. Clouds rolling across. If you look here, there's a little hint of something showing up on the Topeka Weather Service radar. That one going from Kansas into Nebraska. But as far as organized rain closer to us, not tonight. By tomorrow evening, that's when I'll see our chances increase. Temperature wise, 54 degrees in Lawrence, in spite of those thicker clouds. 53 in Olathe, 51 in Hiawatha, 49 in Trenton, 52 degrees in Chillicothe and mid 50s farther south of the I-70 corridor on both sides of state line. By tomorrow morning, we're going to drop a little bit through the 40s this evening, ending up in the 30s, but not the freezing point. That was the case this morning with that southerly wind flow and the clouds. That'll keep it up a little bit from dropping. Only 40 for Belton, 40 for Olathe, 35 degrees in Trenton, 39 in Clinton, and 40 also in Garnett with that mostly cloudy sky developing. Here's a 12 hour forecast looking at your Friday 30s in the morning, 40s in the afternoon. As we head into the early afternoon, 50s for a high temperature and here come the chances of rain could impact the evening commute as our temperatures fall back into the 40s and that southeast wind continues. High temperatures on Friday still 53 degrees. The front still out to our west. It'll hang out there through the course of the day, but move closer to us. And with that also, here come the rain showers. According to First Alert Future Scan, morning's fine, evening, that's when it gets wet. So for, say, lunchtime, I think you're fine, but heading into the evening hours and then first portion of the overnight into the first portion of Saturday, that's when we'll see those chances of rain increase. The winds turn around to the north, and what that means is cooler air starts to move in for the first portion of the weekend. Exclusive first alert nine day forecast. Chance of showers tail into Friday. First portion of Saturday. We go from the 50s drop to the 40s on Saturday. 31 to 51 degrees on Sunday as we bounce back. 45 on Monday with a high. 47 Tuesday staying in the 50s. Generally speaking from that point on. Upper 40s by next Friday and Saturday with thicker clouds but no mention of rain quite yet. Morning temperatures in the 20s and the 30s and with these kind of temps no snow in the offing anytime soon.